Okay guys, we've got a bunch of products here at First Man. We've got our men's lifestyle supplement, which is everything that a man needs on a daily basis. We've got our natural diuretic supplement, Defined, which allows you to get an angular face, removes all the water, especially good for summer. We've got our Male Advantage book, which is a paperback. You can order this, or you can get this in audiobook format or ebook format. We've got our Better Looking Man course, which I'll bring up pictures on screen now. And we've got my personal diet plan and fitness plan in ebook format. On top of this, guys, we've got a body wash coming out soon, part of the testosterone friendly range. We've got men's boxers and a whole clothing line coming out soon. A whole bunch of products, but for now, let's get back to the video that you actually wanted to watch. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I, I want to talk about why you guys should be so proud when you get rejected by a woman, okay? You should be so proud. Now, little twist, this isn't an attracting woman video. This isn't like, oh, pick up stuff, whatever. This is more of a mindset mentality thing uh, and you're going to see throughout this video, okay? Now, one thing I've realized in like the last six months to a year of like dating beautiful women and like approaching women more often is um, most guys are fannies. Most guys just don't approach women. Most guys are petrified. Most, all these women that I talk to, they're like, oh, guys just sit there and stare at me. Like, they just think I'm hot. I've seen it slightly different in London. I've seen guys approaching girls, but it's a very small, small percentage. I, I, I saw a couple in Toronto, a few, like a few in London, whatever. But it's a very, very small percentage. Most guys just go, damn, and just stare and look and whatever. Or, like, around here, for example, like, I've been, the streets are very, like, long and straight, okay? So you end up just walking down the road. You might have seen, like, a beautiful woman walks out in front of you and she's walking down the road, okay? I just happen to be behind her. And all you see is guys walking the other way and they're going like this. Like, wide-eyed, bushy-tailed. They're going... Like that, just checking her out, like... As she walks past, side eyeing her, they're all nervous as fuck, right? Now, I, I would look at them all and think, well, every single one of you wants to fuck her. I can see it on your face, right? It, you know, admittedly, I'd think, yeah, the same as me, I do too. But you could see all of them, one by one, they're all petrified. Oh, oh God, she's gorgeous. Is she looking at me? She's not even looking at me. She's looked down. Oh, okay. What she's waiting for is that one guy with bollocks big enough to actually go over there and talk to her. And you will see... And this is why I think you should be so proud of getting rejected, okay? And this is where it will turn into a mentality video. Is that if you go up to a woman and you get rejected, well, do you know what that means? It means that you're one of the last three, four, five hundred guys didn't approach her. They walked, up, they walked past her and thought, oh, she's pretty. I'd love to, I'd love to talk to her, but I'm not going to because I'm petrified. Okay? And you went, fuck it. What can I lose? Or you were shitting yourself, but you did it anyway, okay? And yeah, she was just stuck up her own ass. Maybe she was nice about it. Whatever. I don't give a fuck what the reaction was. She said no, she rejected you. She said, yeah, I don't care at that point, okay? But this is why rejection is good. Um, or this is why approaching is good in this way. You should be so proud or whatever. Because, now uh, let me explain something first. I don't actually necessarily believe approaching women is the best kind of like strategy in life. I don't really believe in like day game. I don't see Drake necessarily doing day game i see drake living his life and then organically speaking to women and getting their numbers you know or being in a certain place where he's just like hey i like you like starts talking to her gets a number and whatever like she messages him it's more life set up for these guys but you're going to be at a level when you're young where you don't have that level of life set up you don't have access to these high level women you're probably going to have to pro approach a few girls you know even if a girl is like smiling at you or whatever or makes eye contact with you in the gym or on the street, or in a club, or in a cafe, or whatever, you, you're gonna have to go over. She doesn't know who you are, you're not a celebrity, she can't DM you, do you know what I mean? You don't have like a, an assistant to go over. Like, so what I'm saying is, she might walk down the street and smile at 10 guys that day. She might um, have 400 guys looking at her, okay? Out of those 300, you know, that are just looking, they might as well not approach, because she's not interested. Out of the, 10 that she smiles at, maybe one will go over. You know, out of that 300, there might be one brave guy that actually gives it a go. It's like two out of like 310 guys that actually go over and approach that girl. Well, those two guys are probably gonna do better in life at everything. They are, just because they're gonna put themselves out there more, they're gonna take more risks. So 
here's the thing. If you get if you go up to a woman and she goes, no, fuck off, like rejects you and whatever, and you feel bad, don't feel bad because you are like a million miles ahead of the average guy. The average guy is crippled with fear. He will not go and approach a woman. He is petrified of life, okay? So for you to even be like, go up and do some nervous game. Oh, hey, how are you? What's your name? Oh, so that, who's that guy on TikTok where he's like, I, I, I saw you walk in, saw you walk in like a carrot. Was, I can't remember that guy's name. It's funny though. Even if you gave that dog shit game, you still tried. You still did it. You still went over there. Nobody else fucking did it, which immediately, even if that other guy is fucking handsome, he's tall, he's got a big dick, he's rich. If you're the only one that actually went over, it's very likely that your life is going to be better than all of theirs long term, okay? Because you're going to ask more questions, you're going to go for more opportunities, you're probably going to take more risks, you're going to, like, you could have some tall, handsome, big dick, in shape guy, and that girl over there absolutely adores him, so does she, so does she, so does she, so does she. He's too nervous to go up and make uh, and make it make it happen. So the guy who actually goes up and talks to her, she's like, well, he's going to stand around all night and it's never going to work. So yeah, I'm going to go home with this guy. So that guy gets sex and that guy goes, yeah, handsome, big dick, rich, whatever. But he's not getting anything. Do you know what I mean? You if you don't if you don't ask, you don't get. And that's why you should be so proud of like getting rejected. And if you if you've even seen a woman that you like and you've gone, I'm going to approach her, you you win. Do you know what I mean? You're winning in life because you're not scared of the consequences, which is going to trickle into other areas of life. It's going to make you more confident. It's going to, you know, it's going to allow you to take more risks in life. You're not going to be sat there paralyzed by fear. There's got to be, I, I've often said this on the channel. I think this is the one thing that most guys are most annoyed about when it comes to women. I know when I was nervous to approach women, this is the one thing that I used to be most pissed off about. I, I, I'd see a beautiful woman, I'd kind of like wait for an opportunity, she'd, she'd leave, and I was like, fuck, I missed that. And it wasn't, oh, I missed out on the woman, you know, I, yeah, I would have liked to have fucked her, kissed her, been with her, it depends how old I was, right? But the thing that messed me up the most is I used to sit there and be like, but is this forever then? Like, am I too nervous to ever go up to a woman? Because when's this going to end? Like, this is a problem that can't be solved. Like, I was really pissed off about that. I was like, if I'm not going to go up and talk to her, this problem, this scratch never gets itched. You know, I just, this scratch, this, this itch never gets scratched. I think we got it. And, um, you know, I'm going to just sit there for the rest of my life and be like, she's gorgeous, and then not do anything about it. My, my life's going to suck. My life is going to suck. Okay, if I'm like, I want to get in shape, and then I'm like, yeah, but I'm scared to go to the gym, I'm never going to get in shape. If I want to make money, but I'm too scared to take risks, I'm never going to make money. I'm never going to be rich. My life's never going to be good. Okay, if I'm petrified to make my first YouTube video, and I, I watched it back the other day, I was weird. I seemed weird. I feel, felt really awkward. I was watching it. And, um, you know, if that's how I'm reacting on camera, and I was like, oh, I'm just too nervous to do it. I don't want to put it out. I would not be in the situation that I'm in now. Okay, so that's what I mean by like, if you get rejected, you should fucking celebrate and be proud of yourself. Who cares about the reaction? The reactions are going to be mixed regardless of who you are. But it's just like, I fucking went over. I did it. I conquered the worst part. You know, that's, I can get better at this over time. That's the easy part. You know, I'm going to talk to more women. I can get in the gym and keep making myself look better and they're going to respond to me better. And I'm going to put points on the boards and I'm going to feel more confident. But what I got over is the hardest bit of actually walking over and being like, hey, my name's Chris. How are you doing? Like, why is that so difficult? But for 99.999% of men, they are literally shaking their bollocks off to go up and talk to a woman. So the next time you want to go and talk to a woman, remember the last thousand guys didn't. They saw her but didn't go over. So by you just going over, you immediately put yourself above those thousand guys. She's probably going to respect you more. But number two, like in life, you're going to be like, hey, I can fucking do more than you lot. I'm not a pussy. I can accomplish more. It's going to start dragging you up that pecking order, I promise you. It's the same with anything, though. Like, opportunities. Speak up. Go and do something. Do you know what I mean? If you see a guy abusing a woman in the street, like, you don't know the reason. She could be an absolute bitch. But there's no reason for that guy to absolutely, like, be backhanding her or shouting at her. Speak up. Say something. Oh, he's massive and he beats the fuck out of you. Hey, do you know what? You spoke up. You did something. All these other little cunts sat there like pussies and they didn't speak. See, I'm the type of guy, if there were, like, ten guys, like, all fucking doing something to a woman, whatever, and everyone's like petrified, didn't want to say anything, I'd be like, hey, you little fuckers, stop it. 
I'd be, I'd be well game for a little scrap. Ten guys, I'm getting battered. I don't care if they're the biggest pussies in the world. I'll, I'll knock two or three out straight away, but it's just going to be a numbers game. Probably going to get battered. I don't care. I don't care because I'd rather speak up and be like, Chris, you're fucking legit. Like, you are a legit motherfucker. Like, get punched in the face, and instead of running off, you go, oh, wipe your nose, shake your heads, and you're like, right, let's go then. Like, that, those little moments in life when you saw a beautiful woman and you approached immediately, you saw somebody abusing somebody on the street, shouting at them, and you stepped in and said, hey, that's fucking bang out of order. I've done that about a million times. I'm telling you now. I'm remembering them as I speak. So there's recently where I was in uh, my hometown where I grew up. I came out of the gym, and there was about 20 people all stood at the bus stop and people walking past and whatnot. And it's outside a cinema too, so this place is busy, all right? And it's, uh, it's, it's only like, it was like 10, 11 a.m., so there's a lot of people around. And this guy was like shouting and screaming at this woman, and then he spat at her feet. And as I was walking over, people were like walking past, kind of like, no, 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 not my business, do you know what I mean? Just walking past, head down, whatever. And I just stormed over and was like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? And he was like, oh, you need to lay off the steroids, I'll knock you out. And I was just like, I was just playing around with him. But I said to her, I was like, are you okay? Do you need help? She was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine, whatever. I was like, all right, give me a shout though. You know, if you, if you need like this sorted out, whatever. And I was like, do you want me to call the police and whatnot? No, I'm fine. Her situation, if she goes home that night and he beats her up, I'm sorry, I tried to help. Now that's terrible, but I tried to help. So at the end of the day, it's not my problem. I've got good morals and I'll stand up for people. But the reason I went over more so is because I'm like, my dad would have been fucking ashamed of me. Do you know what I mean? And my mum. But it's just like, my dad would have been like, hey, have some fucking honor as a man, have some morals. Like, there's a woman there getting abused. She might have just cheated on the guy. He just spat her feet. It's unacceptable. You're going to have to step up. Do you know what I mean? If, if you want to be like an alpha male in society, you're going to have to step up. You're going to have to ask the questions. You're going to have to be that brave guy that's just like, hang on a minute, that's unacceptable. I don't approve of that. That is, uh, and that's an overlap. That's why I told you it's a mindset video. The di there's, there is no difference between me going over and saying, hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing to that guy? and approaching a woman. Exactly the same scenario. You're convincing your brain, hey, this isn't gonna go good for me. This could be dangerous. This could be, you know, social humiliation. This could be dangerous. This guy could knock me out. She could make me look like a prick in front of everybody. Like, it's, it's the same, it comes from the same place, okay? And you've just got to tell your brain, hey, no, we're doing this. We're going over. And I promise you, if you can get through that layer of cling film, and if you know what cling film is, that metaphor will really make sense. Because it's almost like an invisible but very thin layer that is, you can penetrate it with like a, a tiny little poke. Do you know what I mean? You can literally rip it out of the way with ease, but everybody's petrified of it. You can see through it, you can see what's on the other side, but a lot of people are just stopped here by this fucking soft little layer of cling film. That's what it feels like. And if you can break through that, I'm telling you, the other side of life is so much fun because then you have full power. You have full control over your life. Hey, you, stop fucking abusing that woman. You know, you'd like, there's a guy at a restaurant the other day. He, he spoke to um, his... He was right. He was like, get off your fucking lazy ass and go and ask then. I'm fed up of doing it. And I was like, look, he's actually bang on because they're being lazy as fuck. It was his daughter and his missus. But I was sat there and I was like, okay, if he continues, I'm going to have to step in. And he stopped. He like mellowed and was really nice, you know. So there's little scenarios like that. And as soon as you can like break down that wall and be like, I'm not afraid of this guy. I'm going to like tell him, mate, I'm trying to eat. This is bang out of fucking order. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear you shouting, abusing your family. I don't care what they've done. You know, grow the fuck up. It's not all about you, you little cunt. I would have said something like that. Now, then you see a beautiful woman. You go, I want to go and talk to her. I want a date tonight. I want to fuck by the weekend. Okay, well, I'm just going to go and approach this woman. She said, no. Okay, doesn't matter. I tried. Right, I try. Like, I don't want to be sat at home on a Friday night going, oh, but you know, I feel so lonely. It's like, yeah, but it's your fault. That's what I can't live with. I can't live with I'm broke because I didn't put the work in. I I was too scared to take a risk. I can't live with the fact that I'm currently single and sexless because I didn't go up to the woman that I liked six thousand times in the last ten years. Because basically, what it is for guys, you're seeing so many beautiful hot women all the time. It's literally like, take your pick. Do you know what I mean? You can't go up to all of them. It's just like, if you go up to seven in a row, like they're probably gonna see you do it, especially in enclosed environments, like you're in a gym. You can't just keep approaching. So you might have to like pick the one that you like best or the one that you know, oh, she's definitely single. You might have to do like a day or two of research or a week or whatnot. Um, 
But that's what I mean. It's like thousands and thousands of women, beautiful women that you're walking past on a daily basis and you're not even going to give it a go. And like I said, I don't believe in like day game as such. But if it's organic and you walk into a shop and she's there and you like her and you've like, you come up with something and you go, that would be amazing to say. And then you hesitate. That's not a life. That's not a life for a man. Do you know what I mean? Like just you come up with something that's funny. You think it's going to make her laugh. Bang, say it. Speak up. Project the voice. She looks at you weird and goes, what does it matter? You've proved to yourself that you were man enough to fucking do it. That's better and being, you know, womanless than being womanless and living in fear. Yeah, but I didn't get that rejection. It's like, but what does, that's not even, it's not even a real thing. Rejection's not even a real thing. It's not like it gets a stamp of approval on your passport. You know, rejected on July the 11th. Bang, that's, you know, you're not allowed to fly, sir. I'm sorry, you can't get on this plane. You know, it's not like every woman you walk up to after that goes, oh, your rejection tally is very one-sided. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. There must be something wrong with you. It's an invisible emotion. It just sits in your head. I wasn't good enough for her. Could be scenario-based. She could be in a bad mood. She could be um, in a relationship, right? She might just not like me. Drop your ego. It is what it is. Women are just naturally kind of beautiful. It takes time for us to build up. Maybe you're just not there yet. I've been there. I'm in a position now where I don't really get rejected. It's quite nice, but it took time. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is, if, I, if I'm if i in a position right now where I don't really get rejected, but I still don't go over and say, hey, how you doing? Or just like morning and make conversation and actually speak up and actually try and initiate. So just trying to initiate something and try and get something going. You just don't know what the results are going to be. Do you know what I mean? You just don't know what's going to happen. And I've like in the last year or so, I've really put myself out there, like especially the last six months. Like I explained to you guys earlier, like sleeping with two different women from different friendship groups on the same day, okay? Threesomes with two beautiful women. It's just like, it's been pretty nuts. And that's not my aim, do you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, when you put yourself out there, stuff just happens. You'd be surprised. Like you start talking to a girl and she's like, guys, just don't approach me. You're the first one to approach me in like five, like fucking five years. Like, yeah, I'd love to go on a date. Everybody's a pussy. Like women are too afraid to make the first interaction. They're relying on you to be a man and like do something. You don't have to cold approach. You don't have to, do you know what I mean? But at least marathon mindset it. At least be like, morning, how are you? They're nice shoes. You look pretty today. Your skin's glowing. Do you know what I mean? That's something. Like just notice something quickly. I like that jumper. Just really basic. Thank you. Just And then you can shit yourself again and head down. But you've done something. Do you know what I mean, guys? And like... It's a lifestyle video. It like tra it goes over. Like I said, YouTube, the gym. Actually, like oh, I've got to do this this year. I have to make that investment risk. I have to fucking roll the dice. I'm gonna go and speak to that guy who's successful who just got out of a Ferrari because I think he could be my mentor. And he goes, "Nah, kid, I'm too busy." But you fucking tried. And that is how stuff happens in life. So next time you get rejected by a woman. I want you to immediately think of me, think of first man and think, do you know what? Chris would be fucking proud of me. I've done fucking amazing. The community as a whole would be like, well done, buddy, because I haven't got the balls to do that. I'm trying to build it up. You've just fucking conquered the hardest part. You fucked up, doesn't matter, don't care, well done. That's amazing. Because those 300 guys on that same street that just stared at her but didn't say shit, they're all pussies. And you actually did it. You know, so you went and did what they all wanted to do. That makes you a better man than all of them. Do you see what I mean, guys? That's how you become a king among men. Okay, guys, we've got a bunch of products here at First Man. We've got our men's lifestyle supplement, which is everything that a man needs on a daily basis. We've got our natural diuretic supplement, Defined, which allows you to get an angular face, removes all the water, especially good for summer. We've got our Male Advantage book, which is a paperback. You can order this, or you can get this in audiobook format or ebook format. We've got our Better Looking Man course, which I'll bring up pictures on screen now. And we've got my personal diet plan and fitness plan in ebook format.